I'm Willie with H5 Technology and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Today we are doing something a little different. As you can see, we are not behind a computer. We are actually in my workshop. <coughs> I would give you a tour. I'm still rearranging and trying to make it what I want so we can record more videos in here. But today, what we are going to work on is we are actually going to prepare a small mock wall that I created. We are going to put one of these inserts in. We're going to cut a, a hole with our qubit um, on our oscillating tool. The qubit is mounted to an oscillating tool. This is the uh, Ryobi P570 and this is uh, 18 volt lithium ion. So this is the tool that we're going to use to cut that perfect hole and then we're going to use this insert and uh, there are mounting holes and that is what the mounting plate for the Unify UAP AC in wall is going to mount to. So uh, a couple other things. Uh, I am so that the internet doesn't catch fire. I am going to get a level so that when I cut the hole we can make sure it's as level as possible even though it's going to be on this mock wall. So uh, real quick, let me grab the battery for this guy. So like I said, it's an 18 volt lithium ion. And that just gives you a little bit of an idea how loud it is, but we're going to put this on the drywall, pull the trigger, and we're going to cut a perfect hole. We're not messing with a uh, Home Depot uh, sells these little panels. Uh, they're uh, almost as expensive as a, a, a full, full size sheet of drywall, but I paid for the convenience because I didn't want to build an entire wall. In fact, I didn't even put this on like an 18 uh, inch center or whatever it's supposed to be. Um, but I did put another wood behind it to brace so that as we are pushing against this that uh, we don't break the drywall. So I think that looks pretty good. So uh, in the interest of having a, uh, a straight line, I have a, a level here that doesn't guarantee, I'm going to tell you that doesn't guarantee that this is going to be, this is going to be pretty or it's going to be straight or anything like that. Uh, this is just a, a best effort here. So I'm just going to scrawl a line right there. And uh, I'm going to try to just cut into this and uh, hope that we get it straight here. If this were a real wall <laughs> that I didn't have to hold, uh, that would have been uh, much easier. But as you can see, the advantage goes to the qubit. We have a, a uh, perfect hole. Now, it would have been better. There's a little uh, rippage and stuff like that, but I'm at an angle. You know, this is not an actual wall. I, I just built this little panel for this video demonstration. So. The next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, whoops, take our insert and see if it fits. Fits. Look at that. Like a glove, right? So now what we've got to do, we've got to move these around so that they, as we tighten those, they grab the drywall and they tighten up. Okay, so what we've got, this is the uh, Unify AC in-wall. Now, Ubiquiti has several models of the in-wall access points going. <clears throat> they have a model that has uh, 2.4 gigahertz only. They have this, there's one labeled as the, uh, the Pro, and I can't remember, I don't know if the Pro replaced this. Um, but then if you are a member at the beta store, now there is the HD. But this is the model that we are going to mount in our wall. We'll go ahead and open it up real quick. It's got the familiar Unify packaging. Now I don't, uh, I like to, I keep my boxes and everything, so um, I will toss it, but just know that I'm frantically going to go pick that up after this. <laughs> um, so then of course here is the, the box. You got your 
quick start guide. Then you have the access point itself, and I don't know if you can see the U on there or not, but then this right here is the actual uh, mounting uh, bracket right here, so we'll have to take this off. And then it comes with your uh, accessory screws. So uh, I will take this off so that we can uh, get over there and mount. Oh, well, I just pulled it off real quick. So here is the actual uh, back plate that's going to go against um, that is going to go against our wall that we created. So that's this guy. And there's labels on it, by the way. So PoE out, data reset, data. Then you have the brains of the operation right here. So there's your data in, and then your data out with PoE. And then, of course, you have the cover with the Ubiquity logo. So, um, and this has never been inside of a, uh, never been mounted to a wall, so it's still got all the plastic on it and all that good stuff. But uh, I'll get the camera turned around here, and we will uh, we'll get this guy mounted. Okay, after a little hiatus because my equipment got too hot, uh, we are back and we're going to mount that uh, this in-wall access point. So what I've got first is I'm trying not to get my big head in the way. Uh, so how it's going to go is because we want our, our uh, ports and everything on the bottom, we're going to put uh, that towards the bottom. But how this will go is it'll get mounted right here on our plate then the business end gets mounted. Now you would already have ethernet, um, you would already have ethernet in here, you'd have a drop running, running through this. So, but then you can see how the holes line up and then uh, the AP mounts on there. So let's, uh, let's try this out. Got my accessories here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two two of the long screws. That's all I need here is two of the longer ones. So what we're going to do, first I'm going to try to stay out of the camera. Let's see which holes these line up on. I like them on those right there. Now there is play in this so you can adjust these if you have to. So if you don't like the position, you've got some play, you know, to go side to side with this thing. So I can move it around. I'm going to go ahead and lock it in, try to lock it in center here. Now, even if your hole is cut straight, this could cause you to be crooked. So, all right, plate is tightened down. That looks really good. Then the next thing that we're going to need is we're going to need out of the bag, we're going to need two of the little screws. So I'm going to grab those. Um, let's see. And you will notice that these screws, let's see if I can get this, are not uh, a standard Phillips. They are a, uh, I should mention, yeah, the screws that go in here are Phillips head. The screws that secure the access point to this are not. All right, so uh, if you don't have the special driver uh, for the special screws, Ubiquity does actually uh, include standard Phillips screws for this, uh, but they also have those security screws. So we're just going to use the standard uh, Phillips here and we'll put this guy right in here like this and this guy in here just like this and we're nice and secure that is not going anywhere that is beautiful let me uh the camera a little bit so you can see 
what that looks like. So there it is. Now we're going to take our, our cover and we're going to put our cover on. And if we had Ethernet on the back side of this guy, we have a blue light here. The Ubiquiti logo is facing up, the proper orientation there for the polarization. So uh, this part is done. And you can, you know, that's how easy it is to mount one of these. And if you get yourself, you know, one of these qubits, you're not jacking around with a manual, you know, with a manual saw. And uh, it's really humid and stuff out here today. So this could have been... This could have been a better cut. It's like uh, it's like 96 degrees, or the feels like a 110. But uh, we could put the level on top, uh, and you can't see. I don't know if you can see it or not, but we are 100% level uh, for for what. So if I stand it up, it'll probably be crooked. But um, yeah, I I, I really like it. I hope you enjoyed this style video. I hope to do more of these. Um, as I get things kind of the way I want them. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, we do have a Discord channel. The link's down there. Charlie's our admin. He does a fantastic job. Come on over and say hi. Uh, if you want to buy any of the tools, networking gear, anything you see us here, you on the, use on the channel, there's an Amazon uh, link down below. If you need consulting, best practices in voice over IP, networking, security, programming, web design, all that good stuff, you can go to h5llc.com, fill out that contact form, and somebody will be in touch with you. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video.